Introduction Despite the setbacks and misfortunes one faces, it is human nature to be hopeful. I suppose there's a silver lining to losing my father when I was five, disconnecting from my mother, and facing challenging times in Ethiopia, Yemen, and the U.S. I'm fortunate to be in Canada living a stable life and raising my children. I can focus on the positive aspects of life by developing gratitude and continuing to be curious about nature. I'm a happy man because I'm grateful. I choose to have an attitude of gratitude. That gratitude allows me to be happy. U.S. Supreme Court Judge Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. once said, The great thing in this world is not so much where you stand as in what direction you are moving. When I was a teenager, I decided to move toward the West, both literally and figuratively. I didn't believe the West was better than the East, but I focused on the better opportunities the West offered me, education and fundamental human rights. Living in North America hasn't erased my formidable memories and values from my youth, but it has reshaped my personality and perspectives. Without a doubt, the West has become my silver lining. As I write this book, I am a 62-year-old professional nearing retirement. At this phase of my life, I would say there is a positive side to every struggle, and it's a little tricky at times to get the silver to shine. It is also true that there will be no silver lining without the haze. Therefore, I might add that survival has defined my past, but perseverance continues to shape my tomorrow. I completely agree with the author James Allen who said, Your circumstances may be uncongenial, but they shall not long remain so if you only perceive an ideal and strive to reach it. You cannot travel within and stand still without. Every misfortune presents a precious clue as to what will come.